And uh, those include about 50% technologies and finished products and those sorts of things, as well as our basic capabilities. What what uh, universities and small companies do we collaborate with, uh, federal laboratories, as well as what open innovation tools do we use, like Nine Sigma and Study or two common tools. Do you want to share a recent experience about how Procter & Gamble can develop yeah. very successful, or if you are very brave, uh, but it has not been successful? <laughs> Sometimes we learn more about those. Right. Well, a success story uh, from Europe is uh, um, in our current product of uh, skin products, Olay, we, uh, a key technology that really makes it work, really produces consumer results, is a penapeptide which was discovered in France. And that was, uh, as I'm doing in this meeting, you know, scouting for technology significance from the partnering sessions, I, you know, one of the people in Connect and Develop was at a meeting in France and met a company called Siderma who had a, a pentapeptide, little peptide, that had activity for skin. And we uh, engaged in testing in our systems how the, uh, the peptide performed and performed uh, better than any. So we licensed from them, worked with the European supplier of the material. Peptides can be expensive to make. Um, and, and create a product which has really helped our whole skincare line grow dramatically. So, Christos, what has kept you busy recently? Well, thank you very much, Peg. Just a few words about